Hello, I'm Jay Bowman, and I appreciate the opportunity to share with you some of the highlights from our Q3 forecast for 2022. As Dinah Washington once sang, what a difference a day makes, or in the current case, what a difference a quarter makes. The word on most people's minds seems to be recession, and understandably so. The Consumer Price Index, or CPI, which is the most common measure of inflation, registered a 40-year high in May of this year. At the same time, the stock market has moved into bear territory and layoffs are mounting in various sectors. But what does it all mean for construction spending? Well, historically, it's lagged the overall economy by roughly 12 to 18 months. This would suggest that a contraction in construction spending would be most prominent by late 2023. Our 16% forecast decline in residential activity over the next three years will have the largest impact on the overall forecast as it represents roughly 50% of all construction spending. By comparison, non-residential building activity should bounce around $550 billion or so and non-building structures or heavy civil construction should increase by more than 30% over the next five years. This double-digit increase becomes much more pronounced when you look at it at the segment level. When you consider that conservation and development, water supply, sewage and waste disposal, transportation, and highway and street are all forecast to increase by 45 to 50 percent over the forecast period. Whereas you'll see sharp declines in more investment-driven segments like lodging, amusement and recreation, office and commercial. Many contractors no doubt have concerns about the future as witnessed by our current non-residential construction index or NRCI, which registered a 45.2. This signals a contraction in construction spending and is similar to the sentiments expressed during the pandemic. Everything we've talked about so far is at the national level, but as we all know, construction's a local business and that's what matters most. And the most pronounced differences over the next five years in the forecast may be by geography. And that has consequences and unintended consequences no matter what market you're in. When you consider things like demand, procurement practices and preferences of customers, and even competitive intensity. If there's one thing that we can take away or lesson learned from the past, it's this. is that although most people made the right decisions during the Great Recession, they didn't make them soon enough. And when we think about where we may be now, do you have those contingencies or other plans in place given what could occur? If you don't, I highly recommend you call one of our bankers or our consultants to talk about your specific issues. I'd also ask you to download the full report at www.fmicorp.com. Thank you.